Alright guys, so today I'm gonna do another installation video. Uh, seems like a lot of my subscribers like the wrapping stuff. And you know me, my buddy Marco, we like to do a lot of wrapping as well. So actually, um, today I'm gonna do wrapping again with my younger brother Clement. And I'm actually gonna use some uh, 5D gloss carbon fiber wrap. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Get it up close. And some stuff you may need, uh, number one, you know, microfiber towel, glass cleaner, just spray it on the surface, you're gonna wrap. And then you need tools like a blade, as well as some uh, felt tip squeegees to just kind of like push it down, even on the surfaces. And then lastly, your best friend would be a heat gun. So you've got a heat gun right here with high and low settings. I'll show you guys what I'm trying to wrap. I'm trying to wrap the sides of the car. It's over here. Wrap it all the way here and down there. And same with this side. It's gonna wrap it here, upwards, all the way down. So yeah, just picture it right now. This is before. We're gonna have an after later when we're done. A um, couple of reasons why I'm wrapping it. Number one, because it, it looks nicer. Obviously it looks nicer. See how Marco has his wrap as well. This was done uh, a couple months ago now and it's looking really good. And the second and most important thing that led me to actually want to do it today, while well, it's you know not too cold, is because now there's winter here, it's really cold, you get static shocks a lot, and I guess some of you Mitsubishi owners <laughs> might know that uh, Mitsubishi are notorious that they don't really have a good ground, and because of that you get shocks all the time. Marco has his Lancer, which has the same problem, uh, my car has the same problem, my brother's Eclipse might have the same problem too, but yeah. Hopefully with all that wrap around the doors, whenever I close my door, I will get an electric shock. Alright, so we just measured the uh, how we're going to wrap the vinyl, how much we use. So we're going to use about this much, so I'm just going to cut it. So I'm going to it pretty tight. Cut it. This one should be more than enough. Just cut it on this line right here. It's already bending like that. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Play. We're gonna wrap it, we're just gonna wrap it two sections to make it easier. The first wrap we're gonna cut it off right here. This one, and then the other one goes all the way down. Same with the front window. One cut off right here, and then the other section all the way right down. Quite a long time and two tries, uh, we managed to do part of it. So let me show you guys. Oh, you can see the difference. And the focus. This is before how you kind of it will look like, and this is after. So uh, yeah, managed to tuck it in all the sides, pretty flush, pretty clean. And then now we're gonna do a second strip from here all the way down. So. Uh, Pause your first time, what are your impressions of uh, vinyl wrapping? 
not easy. Yeah, I mean, in <laughs> theory, it's very easy, yeah. right? In theory, it's super easy. It doesn't take much work. It sounds pretty straightforward, but when you actually do it, you gotta pull, you gotta stretch, you gotta heat, and it's just it's pretty tedious process. That's why I mean, that's why wrap chops cost so much to wrap parts. Yeah. Right. I should charge you. <laughs> side on the driver's panel. Couldn't have done it without my brother's help. So check it out if it looks super clean. From here all the way 